Okay, well, we'll point it out. So we have the lab set up, this bench set up for the induction motor lab. And what's set up for us is the supply, which is, we're going to use a three-phase supply. And then we have the supply connected to the Yokogawa inputs, which are going to give us our measurements of the three-phase power on these values here. So the, this should be set to volts, amps, and we'll put this one on watts. That's our watt meter. Um, on the other side of the Yokogawa, we have connected the three-phase induction motor. And so here, here we have the three phases. This is a circuit breaker. Um, and then we have the induction motor is connected. This is the control for the induction motor, an actual motor back here. And then what we'll do is we'll turn it on, and that will translate the AC power to all real power, kinetic energy, and it will spin this, this uh, uh, rotor here. And so we'll turn on this measurement system to measure the RPM of the shaft. And then we'll use this to measure, this is the torque meter. Um, we'll measure the torque of the shaft. Okay, so the shaft then is being fed into basically a generator, which is going to act as a load, um, which is going to put some resistance on the shaft. And that will um, help us by changing the values of the dynamometer, we'll be able to either slow down or speed up the, the motor. Then we're going to connect a resistive load to those of these wires, where we have all these resistors in parallel to the other side of this generator to help draw more current so we can get some uh, measurements. Okay, so we're going to aim the this little light, which is going to um, measure the RPM as this thing spins around by measuring how many times it passes over this reflective light. First step is to zero the torque meter, and it's kind of tricky, so I'll just kind of, ooh, I got it right at about zero. Sometimes it flips to 0 0.1 or something like that. Okay, if it doesn't get a zero, just record the value here and we'll use it as the offset. Now it's, it's giving me a value of 0 0.02. So I'll record 0 0.0, let's see, 0 0.03 as the offset. Okay, 0 0.03 and the units are newton meters. Okay, so the first part we're going to bring the motor up to the rate of load. That would be a torque of 17.25, so we'll turn on the AC power, which will be this, that turns on the motor, and we're going to adjust this number, can you zoom in on that number, by changing the voltage here, until that comes down to 17, oops, I went too far, 17.6. 60, 50. You can hear the motor slowing down a little bit as we load it a little heavier. Okay. 24, 25, 26. Okay, 17, 25. So that is about the full rated load, and then we're going to collect our data here. We'll get the voltage, the current, and then the watt meter. We'll switch from power to reactive power, and then power factor. Okay, next we're going to run it at half the load. So what we want to do is we want to change the voltage, so we're running it at a shaft speed of 1762. So I'm going to go this way. 40, 50, oops, there it is, almost. Okay. Alright, almost. Now we could do some fine control with the rheostat over here. It's a little bit easier to control. Okay. 
Alright, that's about half rated load. Close enough. Alright, so then we're going to record the torque, which is negative 0.88. We'll correct it by the offset. We'll record the shaft speed, which is 1763. I'll get the voltage, which is 117.50. The current, 440. Um, the real power is 254. Reactive power, I guess, 439, and power factor, about 0.502. All right, so the last part is we have the motor at full load, we have the motor at half load. Now we're going to actually remove the motor, so we're going to make it an open circuit. I'll just turn that off there. And then we're going to record the values here. So at no load, the shaft speed goes up to 1794 RPM. The torque is minus 0.12. And we're going to make the voltage. And the 17.3. current is 1283. And power is. about the efficiency of the motor at those two rated values. Okay, that'll work.